Hello, this is the Prelude to Computer Science series interlude number three. There are a couple of questions that I wanted to address. The first qu uh, question refers back to uh, the videos that I made um, that used binary uh, uh, binary codes, actual binary codes. Uh, and do you have to memorize those opcodes? Absolutely not. This, that they're completely made up. Uh, they're meant to show a bit the basic idea. You would not use those kind of opcode, those op particular opcodes for any processor that I'm aware of. Uh, in fact, they're particularly badly made. I, I, may, I put no effort really into picking uh, uh, good opcodes for those things. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm not aware of any uh, four-bit personal computers. However, I'm aware that uh, some of the older calculators used to use uh, 4-bit processors, so it's not completely um, uh, unreasonable to to talk about a 4-bit computer. Uh, I used a 4-bit processor just to keep things simple. Uh, we could have used a, a full byte or 32 bits or, or, or whatever, uh, but uh, j uh, the main thing, I wanted to get the idea across without going into it in too much detail. The main uh, idea here, the main ideas I think, is uh, the notion of sequential processing. You know, you do this thing, then you do this thing, then you do this thing. Uh, the, the notion of language translation and the, uh, the idea that uh, uh, context is important. Those are the uh, the main things, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Uh, now, recall that four bits together make a nibble, and we can look at our program as sequences of bits or as sequences of nibbles. Now, in a in a larger in a, in a full size computer, we we can think of uh, our program as sequences of bits or as sequences of bytes instead of nibbles. Um, now. Uh, let's go back to the idea of context. Uh, for example, let's say that you see the bits 1001 and it, that might refer to an opcode or it might refer to address number 9 or it might refer to the actual number 9. How can you tell what it means? Well, you can't. The only way you can tell what it means is by looking at it in context. So if the program counter, the PC, points directly to memory containing 1001, then we know that it must be an opcode. Uh, if it's not, uh, if it's in memory that is directly next to an opcode, directly following an opcode, um, and that opcode requires a parameter, then we know that it has to be either an address or a, um, a number depending upon the requirements of that particular instruction. You have to go to the manual. Uh, there's a manual associated with a chip. Uh, and uh, uh, now, <coughs> in the beginning, it, when you just start with uh, using these kinds of codes, they, uh, you have to you either have to memorize them or um, keep a chart handy. Uh, but uh, if you do a lot of it, you'll you'll start to memorize the most important ones, the most in, in important instructions and how they work. Um, but don't bother memorizing these particular ones. It's that's this is purely for illustrative purposes. So the, uh, those uh, were some good questions, uh, very important questions, and uh, I would encourage you to uh, think about this stuff some more ask some more questions. I don't mind doing two or three little interludes like this. I've finally gotten around to putting the first problem set up, so go ahead and take, it to, take a look at those. I wrote them up a long time ago, but I, didn't, I, I forgot to post them. Uh, go ahead and take a look at those problems. Don't, don't suffer over them. You know, put an honest effort into them, five, ten minutes, and if you can't get them, you can't get them, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Thank you very much.